Welcome to Battle of the Partners, where we take expert players from regular partnerships and turn them into rivals over an eight-board challenge. In this episode, we feature multiple world title holder and bridge writer Sally Brock playing against her bridge and life partner Barry Myers. Sally has been part of the winning team in five Women's European Championships, two Venice Cups and two World Team Olympiads. In November 2017, she received the Diamond Award from the English Bridge Union in recognition of her outstanding contribution to England's international teams. Barry has combined his bridge playing life with a career as a barrister. Their successes together include winning the Portland Pairs in 2014. Hi everybody, my name's Barry Myers and I understand that I've undertaken a challenge against Sally Brock, who's not only my partner in life, but she's also my bridge partner. So I've got a lot at stake here today. Uh, uh, when I introduce us as a couple, I always like to say that we've got uh, six world championships between us, which is quite true. Unfortunately for me, she's got all six of them, but I'll do my best. So we're here today playing on computers. They play five card majors and uh, better minor and partners over the club. So this is an easy decision for me. I can just bid one spade and see what happens after that. One no trump. Well, this is uh, 12 to 14. Sally and I, particularly Sally, have an absolute abhorrence of playing in two no trumps. And with this hand, which is a decent 12 count, I see no reason for stopping short of game, so I shall bid three no trumps. Well, the two of diamonds, Lee, that's good uh, in the sense that it's my weak spot. But fortunately, the suit is probably 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I think the robots play fourth highest lead. So I need to think carefully about this. I've got five club tricks, two heart tricks and a diamond. That's eight. And at some point, I'm going to play a spade towards the dummy. And I have to guess correctly where the ace and the queen are. If the ace is on my left. With east, I need to put the king up. And if it's on the right and the queen is on my left, and I need to put the jack in. So I can duck the first trick. That can't cost. Watch how the play goes. Every so often, east does something stupid. Aha. Uh -huh. So they're not playing on diamonds any longer. Well, looking at the diamond pips, it's obvious that East thinks that I might have four diamonds. But in a sense, that doesn't help me now they switch to hearts. Uh, I still have to play a spade and I still have to guess them right. And the gut feeling is that the ace of spades is on my left. I'm quite certain why I should feel that, but I can play off some more clubs, but that's not necessarily going to help me. I am going to play a spade. And I am going to put the jack in. Oh, that was successful. Now the diamond comes back. Now. I'm in trouble. However, it may be that the hand with the ace of spades is the one with the queen of hearts. I suspect that's the hand on my right, west. But as it happens, I've got nothing else to play for. And I could be going an extra one off. And I am. Uh, well. No, I'm not. I got lucky. I quite misread the hand, but it was the hand with the ace of spades that had the queen of hearts and therefore got thrown in to lead away from it. A real roller coaster of emotion for Barry there, as he saw the potential for the end play, then gave up and thought he was going off, before realising he was right after all, but just about the wrong opponent. All's well that end plays well, as they say. 
So my robots opened one club, which will be better minor, I imagine, in the robot system. But even if it was natural, it's still better to bid my spade suit rather than raise his clubs. I'll bid a spade, see what he does next. He's bid one no tramp, which shows a 12-14 balance. So I have no interest in any other denomination. So I'm just going to raise him straight to game. A slight overbid, but what do you know? I can't imagine Barry doing anything different in the other room. Well, it's five, six, seven, eight. There's an easy eight tricks, but nine might be difficult. The robots tend to be a bit random in defense, so who knows what will happen. I think the robots tend to play third and fifth lead, but they're not that reliable. But I'm going to sort of duck it a couple of times and make sure, just to make things easier. Oh, that's quite interesting. If the robot was being sensible, it would assume that he hadn't got an entry. So um, I'm going to play a spade to the jack and hope for the best. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh dear, this all looks very bad. I'm sure Barry will have done a lot better. Whoops, I completely misread this hand. I'm sure Barry will do better. He tends to play hands better than me. So I took all the wrong inferences. I thought that East had led a five-card suit and would have continued if they'd had an entry, but in fact, they'd led the three-card suit. I thought they were playing third and fifth leads, and Barry thought they were playing fourth, which made quite a big difference, because I completely screwed the hand up, because they led a diamond and a diamond up those two, and then... When he switched, I assumed he had five diamonds and no entry. So I knew that he had to guess the spade. So I played a spade to the jack and the queen, and he won and played a heart. And I, I knew he'd already switched to a heart. He won and played a diamond. But I still knew that the ace of spades was wrong, so probably the ten would be right. So I played a spade to the nine, and it lost the ten. And now he cleared the diamonds, and now they played a spade across. And I was like three off. And with me... Um, you thought they were 4-4, four, four, so... They led a diamond, and I thought they were 4-4. Four, four. I don't think it really matters. Uh, it's about... If I, know, if I knew they were 5-3, then um, I would have got the spades right, because um, if the hand on my left has got five diamonds and the ace of spades, I'm going off. And if he's got three diamonds and the yeah, hand on so my right has got... If he's got five diamonds in the ace of spades, you're going off. So you would have... Yeah, so I... Yes. yes so you'd have played the... Oh, you would have played the spade to the... So I would have played the spade to the jack. If he's got the ace of spades and five diamonds, I would have automatically been off. I thought the diamonds were 4-4. No, four, four. You're, you're the other way around. If, if East had got five diamonds... If East had got five diamonds, I would have automatically been off. Right? He would have played a third round of diamonds and I would have gone down. But not if he didn't have the ace of spades. God give me so strength. So you played him right. to have the aces. If East had had five diamonds, he would have played another diamond. Okay, and I would have then had to play him for the Queen of Spades. Yeah. Right. He didn't have. He didn't play a third diamond, so I knew he didn't have five. But I thought they were still thought they were four four. Right. I hadn't realised. Um, of course, the the um, because West having won the first round with the Queen played the three back, and that only reinforced my idea that they were four four. Because if, if West had had four, he would have played his fourth highest back. And if he had five, I'm not sure why he played his fifth highest back, but he might have been right. 
Um, but in any event, having ducked two diamonds, I then um, they switched to a heart. So my and they switched to the six of hearts rather from queen six two, which somewhat fooled me. But I, all I could do was run it to the king. Uh, and then play a spade and hope to guess right. And the fact that the diamonds hadn't been cleared didn't really give me much of a clue. So I guessed the spade's wrong. And at this point, they played another diamond. Well, effectively, I thought I was down, but because I thought the diamonds were... But you thought you'd scramble some tricks. It's just a good idea. Why don't you... Sorry. Can I finish what I was going to say? Okay. So I thought the diamonds were 4-4, so I thought I was going to lose three diamonds and two spades. But actually, when I cashed out, in the end position, I realised that the opening leader only had three diamonds. And now when he threw that away, I could throw him in. I could bear the king of spades, throw him in with the king of spades, uh, and uh, or do, do what I liked, really. And that, that it was probably when he threw and threw, some, threw somebody in with the king of spades in order to lead away from the, uh, the remaining heart honour, which was the queen, somewhat to my surprise, I found that was east. But as I say, I completely misread the hand. I didn't realise that they were playing third and fifth leads. But anyway, so that one uh, came home. Some degree of dispute there about the various interpretations of that hand. Both players showing plenty of spirit in defending their actions, but Barry's line worked out better, and that result gains him an early lead of 11 imps. Plenty of time for Sally to fight back as we head into board two. Just a simple opening bid. So this is a limit raise. This is 10 to 12 points with four plus spades. And I have a very nice looking 16 count. These hands are difficult enough for the best of pairs. And there has been much written or invented for these hands in um, recent years. Many people play that four clubs would be shortage on this hand and therefore would allow partner to a to judge whether or not his or her cards were working. And three no trumps by me now would say, oh, well, I've got a good hand. Uh, I'm interested in a slam, but I haven't got a singleton anywhere. I prefer to bid uh, what I've got. So I'm going to bid four diamonds. For me, this says I've got spades and I've got diamonds. And partner has bid five diamonds. And so partner has got something in diamonds. Now, with a computer in particular, we are in totally uncharted territory. If partner has got four spades and five diamonds, or even four spades and four diamonds, could we be better off playing in diamonds? And I think the answer is yes. So I've got controls in both suits. I'm not looking for a grand slam. I'm going to bid a slam, and I'm going to bid it in diamonds, and let's see what my... Uh, partner does. If you construct hands that he might have, for example, if partner has got queen to four spades and king queen to four diamonds and three small clubs, we can see here that spades has only got 11 tricks, five spades, four diamonds and two hearts. But diamonds, if I can make a rough in one, my hand uh, with the clubs will produce five diamond tricks, five spades, six and two hearts. So I'm going to bid six diamonds and to see whether we've arrived in somewhere stupid. Well, my computer has bid six spades, so that's enough for me. So we can see that actually my computer's bid his hand rather poorly, that although he's got a diamond fit and a fifth spade, queen one heart doesn't look like it's worth very much. And these hands are going to fit very badly. Four diamonds didn't force to a slam. It merely suggested that partner might have a suitable hand. And although some of it is useful, king one and queen one in the outside suits are relatively useless. So I don't think there's anything I can do. <sighs> well, I'll put the queen up, but I can't see that one. I can't see even a computer defending that badly. Well, this is just hopeless. I've been in hopeless contracts before, and I've been down many times. This will just be one more of them.
let's see what they do. Oh, well, they effectively help me with the diamond suit, so I'm one off rather than two. But actually, the auction didn't have much to recommend it. Please don't try this at home. So Barry taking an optimistic view of the slam possibilities on that hand. He wasn't making six diamonds either, even if the robot had let him play there. But he makes an interesting point about the grounds for playing in diamonds rather than spades. 16 points, five card major, pretty automatic opening bid. Not really quite sure what the robot's version of a three spade bid is. But I'm not going to look for a slam with a robot because I'd not have any idea what anything meant. So I'm just going to bid game. Right, well, it looks like I might have a heart, a club, and possibly a diamond loser if this is the singleton queen, but the robots are so random at opening these, I wouldn't particularly think it was a singleton queen. I might win in dummy gives me a chance to pick up diamonds if it really is but we'll see i'll try some other stuff first So I've got a pitch now for my fourth diamond, even if it should happen to be a loser, which it probably isn't. Going up with the Queen of Hearts is the no-cost thing. Um, well, these, these are coming in as well. So I've got all the rest of the tricks but one. I, can't, I have to lose a heart trick. Computers are useless. What can I say? Well, playing them for... I just play them to be useless, so I wasn't going to get involved in a conversation with a robot. So I just gave up on slam entirely. And what I was saying at the time was that if North has got the right hand for me, there would be 11 tricks in spades, but there will be 12 tricks in the 4-4 four, four fitting in diamonds. Um, there would only, but only 11 tricks in the 5-4 fit. And the reality is that if that's the hand, there are very, very few pairs in the entire world who could bid six diamonds. Because once the bidding starts one spade past three spades, it's enormously difficult to play in another suit. Now, it's not enormously difficult for me, and I managed it playing with the computer. <laughs> of course, computers should sign off in four spades. But I gave the computer the benefit of the doubt, and uh, it, uh, unfortunately, for me, um, let me down. But I've been let down by, by people before, and to be let down by a computer, it would have been a wonderful slam to bid in a 4-4 diamond fit, um, and I would, have, I would have been laughing for, that for another couple of days. Sally did well to take the view that playing in an unfamiliar partnership, you're safer staying on solid ground. And that score of plus 650, compared with Barry's minus 100, gives her a 13-imp swing and puts her in the lead. After those two big swings, board three was rather tame, with both players going one off in four spades. We'll move on to board four, with Sally two imps up. Fourth in hand, it's a rather poor 13 count, but it's still worth opening. It's got four cards in the spade suit. If you are opening a weak hand in fourth position with, uh, for example, a 12 count, and you're deciding whether or not to open or throw the hand in, 12 counts would need at least three spades, I think, in order to be worth an opening bid, like fourth in hand. But this one is clearly worth an opening bid. Sally and I play weak no trump. Ideal on this sort of hand. You can bid a no trump, get it off your chest and not worry about anything else. Well, hopefully. Um, but this is a club opening bid. And that is going to leave me with a problem about whether I... Well, that makes it like the hands getting easier. One of the problems with these hands is that if you open a club and partner bid something, do you rebid or do you rebid a no trump? Sally and I always rebid with flat hands. We always rebid no trumps. And therefore, uh, a club, something from partner, a spade, would always show an unbalanced hand with effectively five 
clubs and four spades, occasionally maybe four, four if the suits are very strong. Uh, but this hand is now easy. Partner has doubled. Hopefully partner's got both majors, you know, like World Ball Cup robots are supposed to do. So I, I've got an easy bid here of two spades. Well, that passed off peacefully. One of the problems about these sorts of doubles is that when partner has this sort of hand, partner has to double with 4-3 in the majors. Nevertheless, we've en ended up in a spot that doesn't look too bad. Got one diamond loser, one heart loser, possibly a club loser, and maybe a couple of spade losers. So, well, for the moment, I don't have to worry. I just play a small one. The jack. So that begins to look like this is pretty unusual. The hand on my left has got ace nine, eight to seven diamonds and has passed first in hand. Well, a lot of people ne wouldn't necessarily open that preempt, but they might have overcalled a bit more than, well, they did bid two diamonds. So I suppose, yes, they sh showing seven, which is. And now they signaled for a heart. Presumably the nine signals for a heart. Now that is very odd. I think they play standard suit preference signals and the hand on my left has played the highest one available. And the hand on my left has played a club. I think, still think I'm going to put the jack in. Ah, they were void. Well, I know it's going to cover it, but what can I do? That was always hopeless. Hopeless indeed. Barry was going to need some help from the robots to make that contract. Where are those misdefending bots when you need them? Um, so I've opened a club, my better minor, they've overcalled two diamonds, the robots doubled, which presumably shows the majors, and I've bid my four card major, perfectly normal auction this time, I don't think I've overbid, but the robot hasn't exactly got the best of hands for me. That's interesting. The robot seemed to give a suit preference signal for hearts, and yet the um, the guys led a spade, led a club. Ah, do they pay reverse suit preference, or is something weird going on? I can't see any merit in not playing the Queen of Hearts. I don't. Th I think it's going to be covered, but it's just always a loser otherwise. So that's interesting. Now, why didn't that robot play another diamond to his partner's something? Now, he roughed with the nine of spades before, so it sounds like he's not got that much. He's probably got both spade honours left. Oh, 
Um, I think these spades are all good, but maybe they're not, but I'll just try one anyway. Yeah, for now I've got the rest. The computers in different rooms did different things. I got the Ace of Diamonds lead and a diamond rough, and then they switched to a club on which I happened to play low from hand for no particular reason. I just thought he was going to rough, and he did rough. And now, for some delightful reason, he underled his king of hearts. So I went up with the queen, and um, it seemed a good idea to sort of draw some trumps now. And I was sort of fine for eight tricks. Oh, they got another club rough, did they? I think they got another club. I mean, they got they must have. They got him with the ace of spades. Yeah. They got another club rough, but the hot diamond rough had been with the trump trick, effectively. So that was it, really. So yeah, so, so I didn't me, have a problem, but against, Barry against me, they I, they led the ace of diamonds and the nine of diamonds. I said at the time, yeah, same with me, yes, the nine. Yeah, I you know they play up. I mean, they, they sort of presumably. I don't know what the rest of the signalling is like. That's presumably upside down suit preference signals. Normally, uh, the nine would be for the highest suit, and the two would be for the lowest suit. But having played the nine of diamonds, the robot is roughed. And we turned a, a small club. I put the jack in, perhaps for no good reason. But now when the robot roughed, he played another diamond. All I could do was do my rough with the king, which is what I did. And the robot over roughed with the ace and gave his partner a, another club rough. Well, that two of clubs was real skill. It was the three of clubs rather than the two. But it was the card that changed everything and persuaded the robots to do things differently against Sally. Making two spades was worth five imps, and Sally now leads 18-11, going into board five. I've got another good hand, and the hand on my right has opened a heart. Well, I suspect that many of you played Michaels. If you don't, I'll explain it briefly. Rather than just overcalling a spade, which one might do, and then one might not know whether or not to introduce the clubs at a later stage, one can make a bid which shows aids and a minor and make it perhaps easier for partner to judge. At one time, Sally and I played that we would show a specific minor, i.e. we could show spades and diamonds or spades and clubs. But now we play that if we bid their suit, two hearts, it just shows spades and an unspecified minor. That makes it more difficult for us but we've also found out that it makes it more difficult for the opponents. So I will bid two hearts and hopefully it says Michael's forcing. Let's go for it. Now we've been here already a couple of times today. Partner has bid two spades and that covers a multitude of sins. What would partner need to make four spades? Well, the answer is not that much. King to three spades and an ace would make it easily. King to three spades and no ace might make it with the ace of diamonds being right and the opening bid, we might be able to get away with a heart, a club and a diamond. And there is a vulnerable game at stake. On the other hand, I have shown a good hand. Ace, queen, 10, nine to five spades and king, queen, jack to five clubs is the sort of hand that would be expected for a vulnerable two heart bid. So the king of diamonds is, is in addition to that, but it might be awkward to play um, that and partner might have a complete Yarborough. I do have rather a lot of points here. I think that this is not worth another bid. I think that non vulnerable, I might have bid. Partner could have made a stronger bid with four spades or even a more preemptive bid with four spades. They could have bid three spades or she could have made a game try. I'm going to grasp the ball by the horns and pass. And we'll find out that I'm wrong yet again. See, jack to four spades and an ace is the sort of hand on which partner should bid something more strongly. This will be a game missed, but Partner, of course, doesn't know which minor I have. And, of course, it's better for partner if I have.
if I have clubs rather than diamonds, because a doubleton club is much more useful than three small, three to the ten diamonds. But nevertheless, with four trumps and an ace, a stronger bid needs to be made than just two spades, particularly facing a vulnerable two-heart bid. So anyway, that's um, rather disappointing. Of course, with an ace and four trumps, it was likely that the spade finesse would be right, plus the ace of diamonds would be on side, and we can make five easily. I can claim the rest. So Barry started out the analysis of that hand optimistically, but then talked himself out of the rosier view, perhaps haunted by memories of hand two. It'll be costly if Sally bids this vulnerable game. I've got a very good hand, 5-5 five, five in spades and clubs. So I'm going to cubid two hearts, which I hope the robot will think is 5-5 five, five in spades and a minor. I'm going to raise myself because I think that I've probably got... God, I don't know what that's all about. It's really random. He's been, oh, well, he has got a good hand, I suppose, but. Now it's interesting here because I'm certainly, I can easily make 11 tricks, but if I draw trumps, I'm only going to have, I'm not going to have enough trumps left to rough everything. And the ace of diamonds is probably right. So I'm going to, don't think there's really anything I can do to make a 12th. That's what I'm trying to think of. Oh, well, I'm a bit better placed now. Because now I do have enough trumps left, so I can just play my clubs and throw my diamonds and cross rough. Well, they misdefended this badly, but I imagine they'll have done it in the other room, so it's not going to be any different to what Barry's done. I can claim. Okay, well, we big game, I suppose, but that's it looks like fairly normal. Well, there's a good chance of making game, um, and with somebody who kn knows what they're doing, I probably would have bid on. I tried rather tried to second guess the computer, and I think Sally bid three spades, which was good enough for the computer to bid four. It's clearly not the right bid. If you're going to bid on, you should bid three clubs to show the club suit. I don't Sally want to risk the computer passing or something. Sally didn't really trust the computer. I've learned. I play with robots probably more than you do, actually, as I always have robots in my client. And so three spades was at least a way of getting it to have some opinion, whereas three clubs, it might well have passed. Um, one doesn't know. Um, but in any event, you know, I, I felt probably I should be done. So Sally's experience of the robots stood her in good stead there. That 680 versus 200 means another 10 imps for her, and a comfortable lead of 28-11 after five boards. Not much of interest in the next two boards, and identical results, with both players making two spades on board six, and two diamonds on board seven. That 17 in bleed almost certainly means that Sally has this challenge in the bag, but let's see if Barry can close the gap on the last board. And as we pass on to the last hand, I'm still thinking of Sally saying how badly she's done, but it seems to me that I am probably doing worse. Well, now we have an interesting hand. An eight card heart suit, fair number of aces and kings. We have a choice between evoking bids. Under no circumstances would I ever open this four hearts. This is far too good. After all, partner, if you look at the missing gaps, the king of diamonds, the king of clubs and the queen of hearts, that's only eight points and seven would be made easily. In fact, if you look at it, if partner had two small hearts, and king jack to four diamonds, we would, most days of the week, have eight heart tricks, eight opposite two, there's only queen to three missing, most days of the week that would be fine. 
eight heart tricks, four diamond tricks and a club. So that's with a four count grand slam could be cold. So I think I'm going to start with two clubs. I have no experience, I don't think, of bidding big hands like this with computers, or at least not very much. But we'll start with two clubs and we'll take it from there. This style of play we're looking at, with me giving my thoughts about it, was possibly originated by Terence Reese, who was perhaps the best bridge writer. And I have just reread one of his books, which is Playbridge with Reese, which is a number of hands where you look over his shoulder and he takes you through, much as I am doing. With this sort of hand in his day, you could have opened two hearts, which would have been strong. It would have been strong and forcing for one round with a change of suit forcing. Because the danger of opening two clubs on this hand is it goes two spades past four spades and one's already in difficulties not having shown the suit. It's less likely all three hands passing. And so that was a, another reason to commend. Anyway, for the moment, although I could possibly bid three hearts, that would show a solid suit. Well, this suit isn't solid. Um, certainly opposite a singleton, it is odds on to perhaps lose a trick. Very close, mind you, with queen to four missing, it's slightly better than 50% that you won't lose a trick. But it's not solid, so I will start with two hearts. Partner bids two spades. Now I need to look, I need to click on that to see. Four plus spades, less than 11 points, five to 12 total points, forcing to three no trumps, and probably should have some values in spades. Well, I'm going to bid three hearts to see whether I can get some belated support from partner. And they have bid four hearts. Now, where do we go? Well, I think the computers play that two no trumps over two hearts would have shown a second negative, which is what many people play. And I think that's what the computer plays. So it does have some values. So I think I'm not going to stay out of six. If you remember the, I think it was the first hand, which started one spade, the partner bid three spades. When I bid four diamonds, the hand opposite bid five diamonds. And it might have diamonds here. So I'm going to bid. I'm going to bid five diamonds. But if I do that, it looks like I'm going to encourage a club lead, which I'm not sure that I want. It might be better to bid a straightforward six hearts and leave them guessing. I think the chances of bidding a Grand Slam accurately with this computer are probably very slim. So I'm going to bid six hearts. There's no guarantee that that's going to be a, a good contract. Partner needs something in the way of values uh, and hopefully not too much in spades. So I'm going to try six hearts. I've been wrong several times already this, this morning. One more will give Sally something to laugh about. Well, you see there, we've got a club lead, which is good. I think the simplest thing to do is to win it, take a diamond finesse and hopefully rough a diamond in the dummy. So I can win that. If I win it in hand, it doesn't really help because although it gives me three club tricks, the other club trick is not accessible. So I think I'll win this. Although there might be a case of playing ace and another diamond, I think I'm going to finesse it because the trumps might not be breaking. Now, I need to rough a diamond in the dummy. I can afford to cash one heart first. And then just hope that the diamond doesn't get over roughed or roughed with the queen. Hurrah! and a successful conclusion to what was a battering by some computers. Well, I hope anybody out there has learned something from it. It is a game of mistakes, and I made plenty of them, as I do in real life. And in, in the words of Bob Hammond, he said, the best play badly and the rest play worse. And so don't think just because you make mistakes 
that you can't be a good player. Even the top players get many things wrong. Not that I'm a top player, but I still get many things wrong. Well, you didn't get anything wrong there. A good approach to the auction from Barry, who's quickly learned not to give the robots too much sway in the decision-making process. I'm a bit anxious about spades, who's going to bid some of those, but my inclination is to open two clubs and then rebid four hearts, just to kind of show that I've got a really good hand. I had a feeling he might do something like that. What does he think that is? Four plus spades, less than 11 points, five to 12 total points. Wonderful. Um, so it don't, I don't know whether this the robot thinks this is a cubit degree hearts or he's suddenly got some ridiculously long spade suit. But I think either way, I'm going to bid five hearts just so he really gets the message. Well, this isn't too bad for me. I think I can guarantee my contract if I win it with the king and take a diamond finesse. I can cash straight of hearts. So I wonder if Barry bid the slam here. Right, claim. Okay, was I wimp? Maybe. I had no idea. It's difficult playing with a robot because you've no idea what they've got. You know, he might have had king, queen to seven spades for all I knew and no hearts at all. Anyway, um, I don't think I've done very well. I would be very surprised if Barry doesn't beat my challenge. Well, I think Sally bid two clubs, two diamonds, four hearts, which um, I would never bid. I mean, I, it's not a bid I've prob probably ever made in my life. I just feel that if you bid four hearts, then you preempt partner and you take away from the idea that, that if partner's got anything of interest, um, they'll be able to show it. Well, I thought if I bid four hearts, he'd kind of know that some hearts was a good idea. Whereas if I bid three hearts, I mean, I'm, he's not going to have any clue what sort of hand I've got if I just bid two hearts. That's what I thought anyway. I thought probably he would have bid two no trumps as a second negative. So I thought he probably had some values and I had no, I mean, it could have been the acing of spades, in which case um, I might never be able to get the dummy to use them. But I did think it was worth a shot. Having my tail between my legs for earlier efforts, I decided that I wouldn't actually consult the computer. I'd just put a slap. At the end of the day, sometimes you just have to guess. And I guess right. Uh, and Sally guess wrong. I thought I was behind and tried to catch up, unsuccessfully. <laughs> well, Barry did catch up to some extent. Keeping the bidding low gave his partner room to show some points by not bidding a second negative, as well as to show some heart support. That approach gained him 11 imps, but it's not enough to catch Sally. Well done to her, and to both of them for taking part in the challenge. Like all of our players, you're stars for taking the time to do this. We have plenty more challenges coming soon, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to pit yourself against the experts and play the hands from future Battle of the Partners episodes before you watch the videos, there'll be a link in the description below each video that will allow you to upload the hands onto BBO and play them. The link will also be available on our website, newtricksbridge.club. We've made a short video showing you how to import the files into BBO and set up the table to play. Thank you.